Okay, so since I am an idiot, <laughs> I recorded this one. I actually posted it today, but I screwed up and I apparently had my microphone off the whole entire time. So this part, it's going to be part three, but it's going to be like super duper long. So it's going to be like part three and part four to catch up because uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just... I didn't think about it, I guess. I, t I turn it off at night, and it, it just eluded me, I guess. So, I am so sorry. <laughs> so, we're going to keep on going. Some of their voices might change. Um, simply because, like, the lower pitch vo voices really, like, hurt my throat. So, I get all nasally, <laughs> unfortunately. So, I'm going to try to change Tomo's voices, and I'm probably going to change a Kemni Kimney's voice. So she's gonna have the non Southern girl because I went back and listened to it and I was like, mm -mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. But Sachi's voice seems just about right. So we're gonna keep on going and we're gonna see how this plays out. And again, I'm so sorry <laughs> for screwing this up. Anyway, the next day at lunch, I'm going to try to find Sachi again today. But first, this is Momori? Okay. Um, alright. I need some help, but let's make it quick. We're holding a war council as we are finishing our lunches. I... I, I was gonna change this. Um, bruh, quick it is! Hello! <laughs> He'll just do that instead of bro. He'll just like, hello! Clearly! <laughs> Sorry. Um, what do you think is the best way to become friends with her? Trying to make sure that I haven't already done this. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, bro, what makes you think I know? Um, okay, no, just her, I mean, in general, like, how do you make friends? Um, yeah, didn't you make any friends at your old school? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but... Bruh, like, then you should know, shouldn't you? No, I mean, I, like, I never really had to try to make friends. I just kind of became friends without even realizing it. I guess, I mean, I, I, just, I just need advice. Yeah, that's what kind of happens to everyone. <laughs> okay, my turn. Kimia, who had been silent up until now, suddenly shouts, startling me. Honestly, I don't think she'll be any kind of useful with this advice on the subject, but I want to eat my lunch, so I'm going to sit here quiet and let her talk. Makan, the answer is simple. You just have to remember when you first met us. It's a little depressing if our first meeting is the only frame of reference she has. I think I did do this. Shit. Maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. Okay. Um, yeah, because we became friends, like, pretty easily. Of course, it's not like you could resist my fantastic charm, but still. Um, no. At the time, I was thinking, these guys are weird, so I only got to know you out of weird, curi morbid curiosity. Uh, what? That's so mean. 
Uh, yeah, the fact that you're able to get along with us nerds means you're also weird as well, doesn't it? Oh, crap, that wasn't more. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I'm not denying that. No, deny it. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're so worried about. You're more sociable than me, and not as a lot as a Kemney. Why are you guys always ganging up on me? Anyway, the <laughs> anyway, the point is that I don't really want to scare her away, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. But you're ignoring me again. Uh oh, this is Tomo. <laughs> Yo, Tomo. Okay. Uh, and you're gonna go find her again today, right? Yeah, I'm planning to, but I want to eat my lunch here. Last time I met her, having my food just, like, got in the way. Besides, I don't want to spend the entire lunch break with her and leave these two hanging. Um... Yeah, are you sure you could, like, stand from being away from us because we're, like, so cool? Sometimes I think this guy can read my mind. He really doesn't look it, but he does care what about other people. Um, I think I'll manage. I'm not worried about leaving you alone with a Kemney. Uh, yeah, well, like, don't remind me. I don't like having someone else around who can't keep up this full in check. Um, like, what did you just call me? I wonder if I should even go. You sure you can keep- You sure you can keep her on check on your own? If I'm not here? Then again, Sachi should be finishing her up for lunch soon. Little do. That's <laughs> these uh, sentences. I'm like, I'm trying to remember if I read it and I'm just- I can't. Ugh. Okay. I've been finishing my own lunch in a hurry as we're talking as well. Since Sachi's eating alone, she probably won't take long to finish her food. Sachi, the is that the one-eyed girl? Um, come to think of it, I don't even know her whole name. Uh, Yusuke, Yusuke Saki, Sachi. Sachi, huh? Well, she'll be a Sachan then. When you finally introduce me to her, I'll call her Sachan. That reminds me, when I first met Akimni, she immediately gave me the nickname Makun, and she didn't even seem to really care that she had known me for only about two minutes. So, it's not that I dislike her, but I dislike the speed of which she gets to know people. It's a bit unsettling. Uh, that wasn't the sentence at all, but who cares? I knew where it was going. <laughs> this is my second time reading. <laughs> Uh, you're deciding on a nickname for her, even if you haven't even met her? Well, it's not like I'm the only one who's going to meet her. Makun, hurry up and introduce us to her so I don't have to worry about befriending her on my own. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. In that case, I better hurry so Kimmy doesn't have to think too much and sh risk shorting out her brain. So... My brain isn't going to short out. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> I like trying to remember voices. I glance at the whining Kimmy before packing my lunchbox and leaving the classroom. Of course, there's no guarantee I will actually find her. Sachi is probably just finishing her lunch by now, and she'll be going somewhere else when she does. There's also a possibility she could be eating somewhere else instead of just trying to avoid me. <laughs> I guess I won't know until I go there. Alright, she's here after all. Same place, same frightened looks. Hey, how's it going? Uh, oh, h hello? She's on guard again this time. She's calmer than she was yesterday, though. It looks like she just finished her lunch. Her lunchbox is closed. Now what do I do? I suppose I should think of something to say, first of all. 
Uh, um, I'm not trying to scare you or anything. I just want to be friends, you know? Oh, um, f friends? Her darting eye tells me that I still don't have her trust yet. The only thing I can tell is that she is suspicious of me. Um, yeah, do you, do you not want me here? Oh, no, you don't have to leave, but... In that case, can I talk to you for the rest of the lunch break? Uh, oh, okay. Great, she hasn't rejected me yet. Alright, thanks. I sit down on the stairs next to her, same as yesterday. Oh, uh, wh what were we talking about yesterday? Alright, oh, yeah, something about books? Uh, um, yeah, books. Uh, you like reading books then, so do you like read manga and stuff? Um, I like to read novels. Um, mostly just novels. Oh, I see. So you don't like manga then? Is she, read? Do you read manga? Um, no. I like them. It's just, er, I, I don't have any money for manga and novels either. But I borrow schools. <laughs> I borrow schools from the library. <laughs> I borrow books from the library and the, the school's library. I mean, I mean, they don't have manga. I had a lot of trouble. I had a lot of trouble with that. Um, so that's it. Hey, if you want, I could lend you some of my manga. I mean, I have a few novels too. Not just manga, but I figured she'd want something and she'd be more interested in something she hadn't gotten much of a chance to read. Huh? Um, are you, are you sure? Yep. What genres do you like? I mean... I don't have a ton, but my collection's not too small either. I could lend you some of my favorites. It, is, it, is it really okay? You shouldn't go out of your way for me. I said it's fine. It's really not a big deal. I'm just happy we have something in common. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. If you want... If you have some you want to read, just let me know. So, what genres do you like? Um, any genre's fine. Um, besides scary stories or painful ones. Okay, horror's no good then. Uh, what's your favorite? Do you so you don't have a favorite genre then? <laughs> like, no, that's what you said. Uh, I'm sorry. Haha. -ha. <laughs> There's no reason to apologize. Hmm. Alright, uh, the book you were reading yesterday, what was it about? Can you let me see it? Uh, oh, this? She points to the book that she has laid aside next to her. Um, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, it, it's a science fiction book? Sci-fi, you don't look like you'd be interested in that sort of thing. I read those too, actually. I don't really care about the genre, but um, if it's interesting, I'll read it. Anything that's interesting is good, right? This is like, this looks like a good book. Um, so anyway, I'll try to choose some I think you'll like. Why don't you bring the, uh, <laughs> I'll uh, bring some of the ones I recommend people. Uh, oh, okay. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. By the way, how is this book? I've heard about it before, but I've never actually read it. Um, it's it's okay, I guess. There's a lot less tension between us now than there was yesterday. Her voice is still a little shaky and afraid, but it looks like she's becoming a lot more comfortable with me. She may not be used to talking to each other. We the she may just not be used to talking to other people. But it doesn't seem like she's opposed to a good conversation. And then the bell interrupts us. Time to go already, huh? But at least I was able to talk to her more. That's something that makes me happy. That's something to be happy about. I, I like, I'm still trying to figure if I read this, but I can't. Uh... Oops.
Oops, where should you going? Oh, right. The two of us stand up and start heading down the stairs. Uh, come back here tomorrow, okay? I'll bring you the manga, I promised. Uh, okay, um, Momori-senpai? Yeah? I stop on the steps and turn back towards Sachi. Her voice is so quiet that it's hard to hear her over all of the foot the footsteps. All of the footsteps. Um, I I'm really sorry. Uh, really, I, I don't mind lending out one or two books. Oh, it's it's not that. Um, c coming up here and talking to me. What is she getting at exactly? Um, usually when people offer to do nice things for you. You just say thanks, not like sorry, but I'm not expecting you to bow or anything like that. Actually, I should be thanking you for talking to me. Um, so sorry. There, there you go again. Oh, uh, sir, um, uh, thanks. I mean, um, thank you. Yep, glad I can help. Let's give him like the dumbest voice. <laughs> We're descending the stairs as we talk. And before I know it, we're at the second floor where my classroom is. She's got one more floor to go since she is a first year student. Alright, this is my stop. See you tomorrow. Oh, sure. Tomorrow then. We go our separate ways. Sachi goes to the first floor while I return to my classroom on this floor. Well, I did it. I only just met her, but surprisingly, we actually made a promise to meet up again. It's only been a day, but I feel like we've gotten much closer. Well, I'm in my class. <laughs> while I'm in my class, <laughs> while I'm doing stuff, while I'm in my afternoon class, I try to think of all the kinds of manga I can try to bring her in tomorrow. Just words. Dots. Dots. Okay. And then, the next day, morning, I entered my classroom and noticed Akimi and Tomo already here. They seem very confused as they look at the paper bag I'm holding. Whoa, Makan, what's that? Are you, like, opening a store? Oh, uh, I was talking with Sachi yesterday a bit, and I told her I'd lend her some manga. Uh, I, th I think you brought a few too many, man. Tomo sounds more surprised than anything. Oh, uh, yeah, I th I th yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> to lower his voice because they kind of have the same voice now. The medium sized paper bag I brought along with me seems to be sagging under the weight of the manga inside. Um, like, didn't you notice how heavy it was when you tried to lift it, man? So you went from bro to man. Um, I guess I didn't somehow. Um, is Sachan an Amazon or something? I mean, she's gonna have a hard time carrying that bag home otherwise, you know? Yeah, I'm starting to worry about that myself. I don't think it's impossible. I don't think it'll be impossible for, but it'll be probably a little hard. Um, yeah, man, I don't think it would be better to give her a few books at a time. Oh, I guess so. I'll let her borrow them all. Uh, his voice is just all over the place. I'll let her borrow them all eventually, I suppose. Aside from that, I, I've got something more urgent that I need to take care of right now. I quickly turn to Kimmy and bow my head. Um, huh? What's up? Um, please let me see your homework. Um, yeah, you, see, you didn't do it, did you? This is the second time I've heard Tomo sound sounding surprised. That's a new record, I think. Oh no, yesterday I was looking through my bookshelves trying to find what I could lend Sachi, and I was just flipping through them, and I ended up reading manga all night. <laughs> so you're saying you spent the whole day reading manga instead of- oh. <laughs> so you're saying like you just spent the whole day reading manga instead of doing your homework, man? I, uh, the, um, I suppose. That's it in a nutshell, yeah. So, Kimmy, please help me out. Incidentally, there is a reason I'm asking, Kimmy. Despite the fact that she's kind of an airhead personality-wise, she's actually a good student. I wouldn't say she's smart exactly, but she seems like the studious type. 
That's not to say that to Tomoyori's grades are bad or anything, but it's easier to ask Akemi than him. He's so judgmental. <sighs> hmm. Well, I guess I have to. I'll think of it as an investment into my future rendezvous with Asachan. Wait, 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 wait. Don't put those kind of obligations on me. D don't you put that on me. Um, no, no. I'm just setting the table so that I can meet her sooner. Setting the table? We're, we're not going out to eat. This gets me every time. Last time I read it, because he calls her an airhead. And he's like, I, I don't understand your euphemism. <laughs> what do you mean, setting the table? Are we having lunch? He's just, like, so confused. Um, so, like, you don't want my homework, then? Um, I will concentrate wholly on the work at hand, so please let me see it, please! Okay, very nice. Okay. Lunchtime! Before I can think about which books I'm going to lend her, I have to haul all this manga I brought up the stairway to the roof first. Hey, what's up? Uh, oh, hello, um, Nomori Senpai, what's that? Her gaze shifts onto the paper bag. Does it really stand out that much? Um, I, I, I picked out some manga for you to read, but I guess I brought a few too many. Oh, there, there's a lot. Do you walk to school? Um, yeah. Sip. Okay. I thought you might. I uh, brought like two or three different series, so go ahead and pick out what you want to read. And you can take a few at a time. I don't want to overload you. Oh, uh, sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. Anyway, check these out. Uh, oh, okay. The bag crinkles as I dig my hand into it and pile up a tower of manga on the steps. Sachi cautiously extends her hand towards the tower, but she looks like she's about to com commit some grave sin. I guess she's never borrowed manga from anyone before? She looks a little scared for some reason. But she starts to sort through them, and as she's reading the summaries and flipping through the pages of the books, her expression loosens up a little by little. Lots of dots. Um, this one looks really interesting. Lots of dots? Uh, oh, I saw a bunch of copies of this one lined up at the bookstore a little while ago. More dots? Oh, this one, if I remember correct, they're gonna make this into a movie. More dots. Um, so did you find one you like? Um, yes. I mean, they all look so interesting. I can't decide. Um, this one and this one. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. This one and hmm. I patiently wait as Sachi begins to fidget relentlessly and turn her head to me for guidance. There's no hurry to pick, so pick whichever one you. The bell drowns out my sentence. More time has passed than I'd realized. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll take this one and this one. Um, hey, are you doing anything after school, or are you going, like, right home? Um, I, I'm going right home? I can help you carry these all to your house after school. Wait for me at the gate. Bye. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> uh, huh? I hastily pack up the man and go back in the paper bag, and before she can say anything, I'm already headed down the stairs with the bag in my arms. And just before I turn the corner, I catch a glimpse of Sachi and say, See you after school. Wait, wait, senpai. Having more or less forced her on, <laughs> forced this onto her, I leave a shaken Sachi and return to my classroom. <laughs> I just tell her I'm coming over and done. After school...
I leave the school's building carrying the heavy paper bag. I have no idea how far Sachi's house is from the school, but it wouldn't be right to make her carry all of this home. Hmm, come to think of it, I don't even know where her house is. I don't even know if we're going to be going in the opposite direction of my own home. No, I agree to this, and even if it's in the opposite direction, I will go all the way there, because I really didn't think this through, did I? And now that I think about it, it's it's like I'm tricking her into showing where her house is, and that's kind of creepy for someone you've only known for like two days, right, to find out where they live. What if she thinks I'm creepy? <laughs> she, I would be thinking you're pretty creepy right now. As I'm thinking about this, I leave the gates and survey the area. Where's Sachi? I suddenly worry that she is silently left without me, but I guess I was a little too pushy, and I didn't even wait for her to agree to let me to walk her home. If she decided to go home on her own, it wouldn't be out of place, and I would have no right to complain anyway. Hmm, if that's the case, wouldn't she have come to my classroom to get me with the manga back first? <coughs> um, senpai? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> no sooner do I hear her voice than realize she is standing next to me, looking up. Where the hell did she come from? She really snuck up on me. Um, shall we go? I look over and confirm that it is in fact her next to me, and then watch as she quickly leaves the campus, staring up, staring at the ground with an uneasy expression. It seems like she is trying to avoid being seen. I continue after her, hauling the heavy paper bag along. About ten minutes on, uh, ten meters, ten meters on, we turn down a narrow side road, and she slowly turns down, slows down to a normal pace before turning back and looking at me. <coughs> uh, um, uh. She seems to have forgotten what she was about to say. Um, I'm sorry for like forcing this onto you. You must think I'm a jerk. Oh, no, you're not a jerk. I wouldn't go that far. But, uh, I think I should go home alone. I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. I seem... <laughs> I seem to think about it before thrusting the bag... <laughs> the manga-filled bag at Sachi. She hurriedly throws her arms around it to try to take it, but... Eep! As I take my hands off the bag, Sachi falls forward with under its weight. The bundle of books lands with a deep thud and then it hits as it hits the ground then it hits the ground yeah two different sounds yep turns out she isn't an Amazon after all see that's too heavy for you isn't it that's why I'm carrying it for you if you hate me though just say so I pick up the bag of manga again <laughs> see this cute how does a bag of manga and you pick up the bag again uh, but, but, isn't it going to be a pain for you? Um, nope, if I was in pain, I'd tell you. Don't worry about it, Sachi. Aren't I the one being a pain here? If you think about it, isn't following someone you barely know to their house kind of rude? Um, n no, I don't mind if it's you following me to my house. Uh, oh, oh, really? Well, I'm glad. So, which way is your house? Um, this way. Alright, let's get going. Uh, okay. The two of us start work uh, working. <laughs> kind of sound like I said twerking. They start twerking at a steady pace. <laughs> they start walking at a steady pace, side by side. Sachi takes short steps, but since I am weighed down by the heavy books, I match her speed perfectly. Uh, um... What's up? Which way is your house? If it's in the opposite direction, I mean, in that case, I can carry the manga on my own. Interesting. Sachi started talking to me on her own. That makes me strangely happy, even if it is only a minor thing. Um, Mamori Senpai? Oh, no worries. This isn't the street I usually take, but my house is in in this direction. What street do you, do you turn on? 
Um, I don't turn, or, I mean, the street changes, but basically I head in this direction the whole way. Oh, I see. That's good. My house is pretty much straight ahead, so we're probably right in the same neighborhood. Does it take you long to get to school? Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty close. It doesn't take too long or anything. Oh, is that so? Cool. Cool. <laughs> this guy's just like a total burn. It's like, yeah, cool. <laughs> Let's date. <laughs> Um, isn't that heavy? Or, I mean, I could help you carry it. I'm telling you, it's fine. I did drag you all the way to school for my house this morning, you know? Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Come on, I'm the one who invited myself to come along with you, so there's nothing you need to apologize for. You are not doing anything wrong. Uh, um, well, okay, thank you. Um... No problem. Anyway, tomorrow's the weekend, isn't it? Don't worry about rushing through these. Just get them back to me whenever. You can take your time. Um, yeah, I, I guess so. Thank you. Dot. The two of us elapse into a silence for a little while as we continue on. On the way, I notice something. Even though we're generally headed in the same direction, we were, when we started, Sachi keeps changing streets. I think it's because she's avoiding streets with lots of people on them. On top of that, whenever we get to the end of a street, she bows her head and sh as she walks and looks at the ground. Um, hey, is your house on the other side of the shopping mall? I want her to stop looking down, so I try to strike up some conversation again. Uh, oh, no, no, we're not going that far. It's just a little bit further ahead from here. We should be able to see it soon. Oh, I see. My house is a little ways behind us. We're, it's a different street, but we're in the same neighborhood. Oh, really? Oh, ah, that's my house over there. She points at a house a little ways ahead of, ahead of us. More dots. Uh, oh, this is your place, huh? We arrive at a solitary, small, undescript house. Th thank you very much. I can take them up to my room from here. Okay, sure. I gently hand her the bag of manga. <laughs> now, <laughs> they didn't say bag <laughs> for the first time. Uh, being sure not to drop it into her arms this time. Then, with a metal click, clank, with a metal clank, with a metal clank, the door to Sachi's house opens. Surprised, the two of us turn towards the sound. A woman comes out, stares at me for a moment, and then she quickly focuses on Sachi, narrowing her eyes. Um, Aunt Mayumi, are you going out? Sachi looks like she is about to cry as she lowers her head, trying to avoid looking at this woman. The person Sachi referred to her as her Aunt Mayumi is a slender woman with perfect posture and two normal eyes instead of one giant one. Uh, what was your voice, crap? Um, yeah, something urgent came up at work. Sachi, who's this boy? Mm. <laughs> Seems right. Okay. She looks over me from top to bottom, her face grave and unsmiling, and her eyes creep upon the bag I gave Sachi. She's beautiful, but her stare is so icy it sends shivers down my spine. Uh, um, this from school, uh, a student in... Sachi's voice is so tiny, and she bows her head again, flustered. I'm not sure the woman can hear her. Should I try to point that out? She turns to Sachi. Uh, she turns to Sachi, but before she can speak, I open my own mouth. I am. Oh, I'm F Fuyugen Mamori. I recently transferred schools and met Sachi a few days ago. I came home with her to carry this bag of manga. I'm letting her borrow. <laughs> like, I'm just letting her borrow a bag of manga. <laughs> I try to say this politely as possible, but I'm probably talking way too quickly. Hmm, I see. Thank you. You're, thank you for doing that for her, Memoricon. 
Her speech. Her speech. Hold on. Sorry. She's coming out a little bit. Her speech is polite, but she says it in such a flat tone, and it's hard to tell what she's thinking. Uh, uh of course. Mm, now I must be going, Sachi. You're since you're late, you'll have to eat alone. <laughs> Everything's super long. Uh oh, okay. And with that, the woman rushes out of the house. I watch her for a bit until she turns the street corner, but she never looks back this way again. Um, a family member? You call her your aunt? Um, y yeah, she's my sister's mother. I'm living with her right now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> my Umi, get out of here! <laughs> uh, hmm. I see. I want to ask her about her family situation, but I swallow the thought, as I think of something way more important to ask her. Th that woman, your Aunt Mayumi, does she treat you badly? Huh? Oh, n no, n not at all. I, I can't seem to get close to her, though. Oh. I don't think if Sachi's I don't know if Sachi's telling lies or not, but it doesn't seem like a lie, at least. She might be getting her injuries from being bullied at school, after all, but without knowing her family, how her family is treating her, I couldn't be sure. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be going home, so you can return the manga whenever. Oh, okay. Sure, thank you so much. See you next week. Yeah, see you. Sachi hoists the bag of manga with a grunt and heads inside. After making sure that she's made it inside alright, I start walking towards my own house. I'm worried that our relationship isn't coming along as well as I had hoped, but at least it doesn't seem like she's being abused by her family. At any rate, I think we've gotten a bit closer than we were before. And I smile about that. As I think about that, I smile. That's what he said, but, you know. Inaccuracy. Adorable. So, this is Act 3. Yay. The next day, Saturday. Only, I've read this three times, so yeah. Uh, that was the part that wasn't there. So I'm sorry for all the long pauses that were in that. Ugh, okay, so let's get Act 3. On the days we don't have school, I usually go and hang out with Tomi Tomo and Akimni. Today, though, I, it seems that Akimni is busy, so instead I'm at Tomo's house browsing through his books. Tomo has a minor collection of interesting mangas and manga. He, does he have a bag of manga? Does everyone have bags of manga? Manga and novels, and it's not too unusual that we hang out in his room every now and then. Um, is the Kimney doing something with her club? Ballet club, right? <sighs> no, man, she's like, your voice. I'm so sorry, I just don't know how to portray you yet. Uh, no, man, she's like, at a birthday party for some third year student she knows. Man, she's got like a big neck, big, a big neck. <laughs> she's got a lot of friends. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, it's because she's both adventurous and kind-hearted. They never speak this way around her. Please, guys, just quit being so mean to her. She does have that kind of personality, but she's also pretty, and she's good at studying and sports, and that probably is what makes her so popular. Yeah, yeah, probably. But, you know, isn't she bothered by that? M man. Man, as she is, I never heard her say so. As usual, he doesn't give in, go into any detail. And the fact that he only replies in such a non-committal answer is pretty aggravating. So I try to probe him for some more. 
I'm like, aren't you two going out? Man, what's that? What's that supposed to mean? Because you're you're also John Travolta. I don't know. Um, no, 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 no. I'm not not mocking or anything, but you two are so close. So I honestly thought you were going out at first. Man, man, we just we've known each other for a really long time. They're gonna. You guys are just gonna end up having the same voice, aren't you? Do you want more? Do you want to? Do you want more? Cause we're we've basically described the fact that we know they're friends. Come on. So like, I mean, who cares anyway? What about you? It looks like you got a crush of your own. Yeah, let's suck up you dating the Cyclops girl. It's pretty unusual for Tomo to change the sub change the topic so bluntly like that. Pointing out that might be bad, so I'll let it slide. What? I mean, how can you think I have a crush on a Kim? I don't. I I don't even address how ditzy this dude is. But if he calls a Kimney airheaded, I'm just gonna be like, you know, man. One, you didn't get the setting the table thing that she said, which she literally did not mean she was setting a table. <laughs> he didn't get that. And then he... And then this, like him saying something, but he did something else too when he was talking to a Kimney that was completely airheaded. And he's going to continue to talk crap about her. Tell her she's pretty and nice when she, you're in her face. Jeez. This poor girl. Like, <laughs> she does nothing but shit. <laughs> and they're not with her. It's like, oh, she's so pretty and has so many friends. We love her. We're so lucky. Um, no, not her, you, like, y idiot. You're one... <laughs> The one-eyed girl from the first year class? So, like, you're, you're trying to become friends with her. Durr. Oh, you mean Sachi? <laughs> Just, I'm trying to get his voice deeper, but I really can't. It, it, indeed, you're getting, like, really close to a girl with no friends who's being bullied at school. If you're not doing it out of the Akimni levels of random kindness... You're kind of poking your nose your nose into this girl's business can only cause trouble. What are you trying to achieve? Do you, like, have a crush on her or something? <laughs> no. No. Come to think of it, I never considered why I wanted to get close to Sachi so badly. Maybe I'm doing it because I pity her, like Toma said, rather than out of the kindness of my own heart. Dots. So I guess you don't like even know yourself, do you? Feeling uneasy with the silence that I've created between us, I blurt out the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I suppose there was no need to answer like that, though. So, so anyways, like, what's going on with her? Oh, I ended up walking her back to her house with her and gave her the whole bag of mango at once. To her house, like, oh, oh. Did, did you, like, go up to her room? <laughs> Dots. After a while, I tell him about all the time that I've spent with Sachi so far. It's been, like, what, three days? Even though I'm a little hesitant when I started, from, <laughs> a little hesitant from when I started, as I go on telling Sachi's story, I reflect on all of it and realize that I've been having a good time. I mean, it's not like we did anything especially fun. We literally just sat in the corridor and talked and hung out and on the stairs. But I really enjoyed talking to her, so... Still, am I really doing this because I have some kind of crush on her? But I feel like that's not an easy question to answer, so... I try to shake it from my mind. It's not like I have to answer right now, anyway. Dots? Monday, the beginning of the school week, I normally drag myself out of the house, my brain heavy with gloom and drowsiness, but today, I'm feeling a little different as I walk down the street. Usually, I make a beeline towards school, but today, I'm straying from my normal path as I take another nearby street. 
I mean, it's not like a big loss of time since the fastest way to school is to go straight ahead from my house. I normally don't take this road. Of course, it's not like I'm choosing this to go this way for no reason. I can go faster with streets with no people on them, right? You know, of course, even if it's unlikely, if I go this way, then I might run into to Sachi. As I walk on, I see a figure ahead of me. The torn uniform, the messy hair, the slim build, and of course, the bandages on her head. There's no mistaking who's in front of me is Sachi. I speed up to catch her and nudge her shoulder. Um, hey, morning. Sachi turns her head to me, turns to me, startled with a startled look on her face, no doubt from my sudden sudden <laughs> no doubt from my sudden appearance. I guess I should have expected that kind of reaction. Uh, oh, Mamori Senpai, why are you here? Are you like stalking me? It's been like three days, and you've already followed me to my house. Uh, um, uh, sorry, I'm sneaking up on you. So my house is near here, and I I mentioned that, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I did. The route I normally take is just one street over. Uh, oh, really? Nope. Uh, I took the street hoping I'd see you. Well, thank God he admits it. I didn't think I actually would, though. Do you mind if we walk to school with you? Oh, no. It doesn't really show in her expression, but I think I hear a little excitement in her voice. Might just be my imagination, though. Um, how was your weekend? Did you read any of the manga I lent you? Oh, yes. I've already finished parts of the series. Uh, I've already finished parts of the two series you lent me. Both of them were really good. Her tone is uncharacteristically li lively. Li lightly. Lively. Wearing her cheerful expression I've never seen until now. But her good mood kind of rubs off on me, too. Oh, I'm glad, then. Um, I thought I should return the books that I've already finished with, so I brought them with me today. I said you could take your time, didn't I? Oh, are you sure? Of course. What should I give you next? Oh, actually, which one of those two did you like best? Hmm, well, both were good, but I liked this one the best. The boy who can see ghosts? 